Huawei's flagship laptop that launched last year, the MateBook X Pro, is still, to this day, one of the most well-made and best bang for your buck laptops that you can buy, in my opinion. Here at CES, though, they just launched a newer, less expensive version in their MateBook lineup that has some comparable specs, actually, which makes it worth taking a look at. This is the MateBook 13. And since I was given some time with it, I managed to do a complete walkthrough on it for you guys. Now, if you're not familiar, a complete walkthrough on this channel is where I try to go through every feature I possibly can on a new device so that you guys are better prepared should you be in the market to actually buy one. Now, with that said, there is a lot to go through. So let's get started with the styling. First though, shout out to the sponsor of this video, Verizon Fios. I personally have been using Verizon Fios's internet service for years now at my apartment in New York City, and I love it. Firstly, it's crazy fast. I get 940 megabits per second down and 880 megabits per second uploads. That basically means that I can upload 4K YouTube videos within seconds, stream whatever I want, etc. On top of that, it's not expensive at all. That gigabit connection is only $79.99 right now. Now, if you wanna see if Fios is available in your area, head to the link in the description below. Firstly, it isn't the same size as the MateBook X Pro, although at a quick glance, you might not realize that. It is though, as the name suggests, a 13 inch laptop, whereas the MateBook X Pro was a 14 inch one. And besides being a bit shorter and less wide, it is a bit thicker. In common with this beloved flagship brother though, it is made out of a metallic chassis that I always appreciated about the MateBook X Pro, and it even has similarly thin bezels on the sides of the screen. It does not though, however, have as small of bezels at the top, thanks to Huawei putting the one megapixel webcam back at the top of the screen instead of in the hidden key on the keyboard, which I loved for the innovation aspect, but in practice it made for a very awkward camera angle. And here's what the webcam looks like and the microphone sound like. Now the screen itself is a 2160 by 1443 x 2 aspect touchscreen with a 1001 contrast ratio. It'll do 300 nits of brightness and it's an sRGB 100%. Under that screen, we have two stereo speakers that support Dolby Atmos and sound like this. They made me what I am. Permission to come aboard. We have a fingerprint power button for Windows Hello. And beneath that, our edge-to-edge -edge backlit keyboard that is apparently spill-proof and has 1.2 millimeters of key travel. Underneath that, we have a larger trackpad that is a precision trackpad, thankfully. Now, this just means that Windows handles the drivers natively instead of the manufacturer, which means it's more precise. It supports Windows 10 gestures, etc. Trust me, it's just better. On the left, we have a USB-C port that is also the power port and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. On the right, we have another USB-C port, but this one doesn't support charging, apparently, and instead it supports DisplayPort. Now, internally, we have, again, similar specs to the MateBook X Pro. You have the choice of an 8th gen i5 processor, this comes with the Mystic Silver color, or an 8th gen i7-8565U processor that comes for the Space Gray model. Now unlike the MateBook X Pro though, there is only an option for 8 gigs of RAM and there's no 16 gig option. We also have a 256 gig SSD for the i5 model and a 512 gig SSD for the i7 model. As for graphics, you can either have the i5 with an Intel UHD 620 GPU or the i7 with the NVIDIA GeForce MX150 2 gig GPU. For software, we're running Windows 10 with the usual pre-installed software from Microsoft like Minecraft, etc. But all of that can be easily uninstalled by right-clicking on it in the start menu. Huawei, thankfully, didn't add much on top of this. And finally, the i5 model of the MateBook 13 is $9.99 here in the US, while the i7 model with that MX150 I mentioned is $12.99. For that kind of power and that premium look and feel that while not quite as nice as the MateBook X Pro that I love, it is still one of the nicer looking Ultrabooks out, and it's a good deal. So there you go, guys. If you like this video, though, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, if you liked it a lot, check out the channel. I got a bunch of other stuff there. If you like what you see there, please subscribe and ding the bell next door. Subscribe so you can notify when I do new videos. Also, I'm at CES, uh, so head over to social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all of them. I'm at The Unlocker on there if you want to see some behind the scenes and other news that I find while I'm running around on the show floor. Otherwise, though, as always, regardless, thanks for watching.